How's it going and welcome back. We've got a new iPhone app. Woohoo! Called iPhone Mirroring under the new Mac OS 15. Raw. Okay, so I discovered this this morning because, well, you know, I mean, I didn't upgrade my Mac OS until late last night because I was out hunting gross with the buds there last night for a few hours and, well, that was fun. One guy got a gross and, well, the other two of us, we got skunked, but hey, what do you do? Anyway, so um, we've got apps we can now launch from our phone. This is awesome. I haven't tried making a phone call yet. I asked my wife and she hasn't either, so we're not sure if we have to have a separate microphone on our computer or if we can still use the mics on our phone while our phone's on the rest. So good question on that one. But we know we can open up a bunch of apps if we want to. And well, just let me open stuff that I don't care about. Okay, and we'll check out the weather app. Now, as far as getting access, you're gonna have to click on the little dots here to flip your pages for your different weather locations, but I guess that's okay. That's not too bad. Now, if you go above the phone, you'll see this little thing pop up. Now, if you click on the X, it'll actually quit the app altogether, kind of like a Windows computer. You just click it of everything and it quits, quits. And that's great, that's fine. Thank you, Apple, for starting to turn into Windows. 6.58 gigabytes of RAM now to get to the desktop. I got 16 gigs in my M1 Mini, which I've had since brand new, and that was three years ago. Uh, well, it'll be three years this December that I bought my Mac Mini M1. And uh, unfortunately, well, mine only took the 16 gigs of RAM, so that kind of sucks. But, um, well, I, I should get a couple more years, and I just got to watch my apps a little bit closer now that... I'm going to run so that I can stay away from virtual memory because that kind of wrecks your drive running virtual memory. But um, either way, you cannot use the camera app while you are doing this stuff because, well, if you try, guess what happens? Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. It's not available. No, of course it's not. So we'll just click out of there. Now, if you hover up, you're going to find this little thing show up. doesn't do anything. It says home screen, but, well... We're on the home screen of the phone, so it doesn't do anything when you're on the home screen. But if we open up an app, for example, like this, okay, and we go up, then we can click. Oh, look at that. We got the home screen back. Yay. Okay, so if we go over to this little one, we leave it long enough, that's called App Switcher, okay? And that is going to allow you to cycle through your opened apps because guess what? You thought you closed them. Ha, ha, ha. Works just like your phone. Keeps them running in the background. But at least from here, if you want to save yourself a bit of a step, okay, you can close them off here completely and they will be closed on your phone. But if you don't, they will still be running on your phone when you go to grab your phone off your computer. So a little bit of a step either way, right? Um, I don't like apps running in the background because they just slow your thing down. They suck up RAM unnecessarily blah 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 but some of you out there like 30 and 40 things going on at once and hey that's up to you i don't really care um but i think that is something that i think they should have made this so that when you closed it on your computer it would be closed on the phone and quit okay not just a straight swipe and hide because that's all you're doing is just hiding the app from the home screen that's all you do but anyways whatever it is what it is we're gonna have to deal with that part right now you will have to use a passcode. Now, I don't know if Face ID will work for you. It might work if you have a laptop or you have a camera on your computer, which I do not. I use my iPhone as a camera for my computer, which I obviously can't do if I'm running the app. So that's a bit of a problem. So I'm not sure how FaceTime is gonna work yet. That'll be interesting. We'll have to let you know. Because uh, once in a while I have two buds that once in a blue moon we do the whole face FaceTime thing. So maybe I'll try that out and see how it works. And besides, I also got to find out if my microphones on my phone are going to be active uh, when I'm using this. Or if I'm going to have to use my lab mic, which I'm using now to record the audio on this. Which I did get an audio glitch earlier um, when I was trying to record this video earlier. I was doing great for about four and a half minutes and then all of a sudden 
And I'm like, what the hell is this? So I thought, well, maybe it's my batteries. You know, it's like, well, you still got two bars, but let's put a fresh set in anyways and see what happens with the fine folks at YouTube if we can record more than five minutes. And if we can, well, then my battery indicator on my set is lying to me, okay? Which will be part of the update review on that set. But, but, I do think the app is pretty freaking cool. Um, too bad they didn't come out with this a long time ago. It would have been really super handy. Um, that would have been fine. But they do what they do, right? And uh, I do like it. Um, I haven't gone through much of the OS this morning uh, other than to find out that, yep, yeah, 6.58 gigs of RAM is now gone just to get to the desktop. And that part kind of does suck a little, okay? It is chewing more and more RAM, but it's a bigger OS. We got to expect more RAM suckage. So if you have a machine with eight gigabytes of RAM in it, well, I feel for you. You're stuck in virtual memory now uh, all the time. So prepare for the slowdown. Prepare for the, I'm so sorry, you don't even have enough RAM, period. Um, you know, it's stuff like that, right? Now, 16 gigs of RAM is kind of like the new eight, really. It's been like that for a while now. Um, nothing I can do. It's a Mac Mini M1. Can't upgrade the RAM in it, so, and it's maxed out anyways from the factory because, well, it can't go past 16 gigs. It's an M1, so, anyway. Guess I'll have to buy a new Mac eventually, but I have other priorities in life, so I'm going to make this puppy go as long as I can. Besides, worst comes to worst, I do have a PC laptop that's got 64 gigs of RAM in it. I can still do whatever I want on that, um, you know, for what I need to do, so I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. But uh, one of these days I'll get a new Mac with like 64 gigs of memory or even 128 gigs. I don't know. Depends on how much longer they support because the one thing I'm curious about is how many more OSs is my M1 going to get, you know? Um, before it's also pointless. So I don't want to replace my Mac until I absolutely have no other option. So anyway, so that's just one little app that I wanted to go through with you guys um, as I find out more things about this new Mac OS I can't pronounce the name of. So sorry that Apple made it confusing for everybody to pronounce that word. Um, but uh, it is in the title of the video, so you can figure it out on your own. But uh, so far, I kind of like this. It's kind of neat. My boot up times are still really super fast, uh, which is nice. Um, mind you, it kind of helps to have an SSD that's way faster than what's built in. Um, you know, so that, that does help a little bit. But um, I do appreciate it. And there, if you do use a program called iMazing, there's a new version out which you're going to need to support the iPhone 15 with. Um, so, but uh, other than that, I got nothing else to really report at this time. Um, like I said, as I figure stuff out, I'll let you know. And we'll just continue on video for video uh, of what I'm learning. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't use under Mac OS that I won't even bother with. Because if I don't use it, why talk about it? So, others will though that do use those features. But in the meantime... That's this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will give you an update on this on how the rest of the app works as far as making phone calls and FaceTime if that's possible. Um, because like I said, we don't get the camera accessible through here. But, and if we don't get it accessible through the phone, that's going to really bite because that's going to restrict a lot of functionality. So, but there you go. That's it. I'm out of here. See ya.